For today's lecture, we're going to look at some food items that we will encounter in a Samgyeopsal restaurant and learn how to read them properly, pronounce them properly. Alert level 1 na for most of us. Our, our first agenda paglabas natin ng bahay is to eat outside. So the next time we go to a Korean barbecue restaurant, we can flex to our friends na magtuturo, you get the menu, tuturo ka lang ng item doon, tapos sabi mo, ah, I know how to read this word like a native. Samgyeopsal. Samgyeopsal. Ganon. So, let's start. As we've seen earlier, this is how we write Samgyeopsal. 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 Sal. So each syllable doon sa samgyopsal maps to one character, di ba? Three syllables. Samgyopsal, that's one, two, three. That's how hangul works. Ne? So sa isang square natin or sa isang character, quote-unquote, ne? sa isang square natin, that's one syllable. So Now, alam na natin na pag nakita tayo na three, three squares like that, okay, there we have a word that has three syllables. Ne? We can actually look more closely and see that each letter, each sound, maps to one character or one shape as well. So, for example, dun sa ating first, dun sa ating first syllable, sam, sam, ne? meron tayong tatlong tunog, S, A, and M, S, A, and M. Tapos, pag tinignan naman natin dito sa hangul na to, meron tayong tatlo din na tunog. Ne? So, we have our S sound here, the A sound here, and the M sound here. So, ganyan natin binubuo yung ating Korean, um, Korean syllables. Ne? We have letters. We have letters for each sound. For example, here, S-A-M sounds. Tapos, we group them into syllables. Ne? Pag nadikit-dikitin nila natin sila na parang Lego. Ne? So that's our first syllable. Sam. Sam. Tapos, next syllable. Paano ba natin sinusulat sa Philippines? Yung sam gyop sal. Sam gyop sal. Ne? Gyop, gyop. Gyop natin siya sinusulat. So for many of us, pag uh, mag-aya, oy tara, sam gyop. Sam gyop. Ne? But, The Korean way of reading that second syllable is actually sam gyop. Gyop. Ne? Gyop. So this sound here is yo, yo. So I hope you can follow after me kahit nakabiyot tayo. No? Yo, yo. So paano ba natin sinasabi yung ating yo, yo. So that's just like saying the word yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Kayo, yung yo sa kayo. Yo, yo. Pero open your um, open your jaw a bit wider. So from yo, kayo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 yo. Ne? So mas malaki yung buka ng bibig. Ne? Samgyop, gyop, yo, yo. Hindi siya samgyop. Okay? Samgyop, sal. Ne? Yo. So yan yung ating... Vowel dun sa second syllable. Ne? It's not hamgyup, it's hamgyup. Gyup. Ne? So for the second syllable, we have this letter G here. Tapos yung yo. And then finally, meron tayo nung sa p sound. Ne? Samgyup. Samgyup. And then yung last one, kung makikita nyo, if you'll notice, yung top part niya, yung top part, nung first syllable, di ba? Sam. And then yung top part nito, Last syllable, sal. Since pareho silang S-A, pareho lang din yung itsura niya. Ne? Kaya madaling aralin actually yung um, alphabet, alphabet ng Korean, which is Hangul, kasi it's systematic. Ne? So we have here yung ating S sound again, and then A sound again. And then this last one is our L. Kaya siya naging sal. Sal. Ne? Samgyop sal. Samgyop sal. Ne? So it's not samgyop sal. Sam gyop sal. 